Military veterans, industrialists and medical practitioners are optimistic that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's two-day visit to Russia will foster greater cooperation between the two countries, enhancing bilateral trade relations and cultural exchanges. Captain Ashish Bulani, an Indian Navy veteran currently serving as director at a logistics firm, highlighted the evolving Indo-Russian relations, particularly in the defense and technology sectors. Uh, now this visit, uh, India is uh, you know looking forward uh, to join hands with Russia. With the sanction, Russia is also having problems, uh, you know, with their military industry. Uh, so this uh, visit can help. Uh, to establish joint venture, joint manufacturing, not only in Russia, uh, in India. The 2019 visit was focusing on making India in India with the Russian uh, partnership, but 2024 we are looking at uh, uh, opening up new fronts or new manufacturing uh, with Russian company in Russia. So all manufacturing can happen here, not only in India. So it is it is one uh, step forward. M. Matthew, an Ayurvedic doctor practicing in Moscow, is hopeful that the Prime Minister will advocate for Ayurveda during his visit, aiming for its recognition in Russia as an alternative form of medicine. You see, even though it's a big market, it's a huge market, there is a, a one way we are handicapped because the Ayurveda is not an approved medicinal system in um, Russia. So I request humbly request our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji when he is visiting Russia, please take up with the Russian authorities so that Ayurveda is an appro gets the approval from the Health Department of Russian Federation as an alternative uh, way of medicine. R. Chakrapani, an industrialist in the petrochemical business, has urged swift operationalization of the Chabahar port to enhance trade relations between India, Iran and Russia. We expect that Chabahar route start very fast and uh, we, we give some special, we give special concessions, we give special concessions for the people who work in this route, a special export benefit in India for this route, same way Russia also gives special export benefit for the people who use this route. That should be a governmental uh, incentive for people using the North Road Corridor. The government will give incentives for using this route, then this route will pick up in a very big way and is a safety and security for, for India and safety and security for Russia. For both the government is safety and security by using this route. A Russian official expressed optimism that enhanced trade relations between the two countries will foster greater economic ties between India, Russia and China. In Russia, we are very glad to see you, uh, to see a leader of India, Namandra Modi, who congratulate uh, in um, victory in, uh, in any, any month ago. Uh, b b uh, friendship between Russia and uh, India uh, have a very future because uh, uh, India and uh, China and Russia it's a, a very good country who uh, um, struggle for peace in Mir. And uh, me now uh, uh, we have a very good uh, way from Murmansk to Mumbai and uh, now from Murmansk uh, by train we sent uh, coal in India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is travelling to Moscow on a high profile visit and will be in Russia from July 8th to 9th for the 22nd India-Russia annual summit that will review the entire range of multifaceted ties between the two countries. Modi and Putin are set to explore ways to further expand bilateral relations in diverse areas at the 22nd India-Russia Annual Summit on Tuesday.